Are you looking for an easy and portable way to install Linux or Windows on a computer? Well, today at Mackie Tech, we're gonna be taking a look at both operating systems and a way to get them on a USB drive so you can easily install them on your favorite computer. So stay tuned. So back in the 1990s, you know, back in the day, we used to install an operating system by booting the computer from a floppy disk like this one, Windows 95. And then after we would boot from the disk, we would insert subsequent disks to install the operating system. Uh, that was kind of a pain. Uh, in subsequent years, we would evolve and transition to booting the computer off of a CD-ROM like this one, Windows 11. And then we would continue with the installation from the CD-ROM because that included the whole operating system. And then more recently, we started being smart and using USB drives. And the USB drives are going to contain what's called an ISO image of the operating system. An ISO image is an exact copy from the CD-ROM. So essentially, you're taking the entire CD-ROM and you're flashing it to this little USB stick and then you're inserting the USB stick into the computer and then you're booting the computer from the USB stick and then continuing with the installation because everything is on the USB stick. Now we're not going to get into the entire installation of the operating system in this video but please stay ahead to the end so I will recommend a couple of other follow-up videos that you'll definitely want to watch. The software we're going to be reviewing to flash these ISO files to USB drives are going to be Belena Etcher and Rufus, both of which are free to download and open source. Belena Etcher is probably the most popular flashing software for Linux ISOs. It's also the most user-friendly, but it doesn't have as many customization options. What's nice about Etcher is that it's completely cross-platform, so while it'll run on Windows, Mac, and Linux, it won't flash a Windows ISO to a USB drive, so we'll need to use Rufus for that. After downloading Etcher, you insert your USB drive into a USB port on your computer. Now you don't need to format the USB drive. Etcher will take care of this during the flashing process. For a USB drive, I would go for at least an eight gigabyte one just to be safe. Now we're going to select flash from file and it will ask you to select your ISO image, which in our case is going to be Pop! OS. Next, we'll click open. Next, Etcher is asking where to flash the ISO image to. So we'll select our USB drive. Finally, we'll select flash and Etcher will flash the ISO to the USB drive. Now this process can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes depending on your computer and Etcher will also perform a validation of the USB drive to make sure that everything installed properly. And after that is done, it is ready to be used. Next, we'll use Rufus to flash our Windows 11 ISO. Rufus will only work on Windows operating systems and it's not as user friendly as Belena Etcher, but it does have a lot more customization options that we'll see. I'll leave a link to Rufus's download site, but you'll wanna make sure you're selecting the proper install file that matches your computer's processor. If you have an Intel or AMD CPU, you should be good with selecting the X64 file. If you have one of Microsoft's newer Copilot plus PC machines, that has an ARM processor, make sure to select ARM64. Rufus can also flash most Linux ISOs and its download page has a listing of the compatible ISOs that I'll leave in the video description for your reference. After opening Rufus and we'll click on the drop down arrow by device and select our USB drive. Under boot selection, we'll select disk or ISO image. To the right, we have options to select an ISO image that we have already downloaded, or we can select download, and Rufus will download the Windows 11 ISO image for us. So we'll select Windows 11, click continue, and then select the most recent Windows 11 release. Then click continue again, and then select the edition, click continue again, and select our language, then continue. After doing so, Rufus will download the ISO to your computer 
and automatically populate the ISO under the boot selection right here. You'll also note that all of the other options for partition scheme, file system, cluster size have been populated to accommodate the Windows ISO we're using. So let's click start and let it rip. After it's done, we can check the USB drive to see the files and folders it created and use it to install Windows on our desired computer. So today we reviewed how Rufus and Belena Etcher work to flash an ISO to a USB drive so you can install an operating system to a computer. There are certainly other options you can use and I'd be interested to know which ones you guys are familiar with. If you've used Rufus or Belena or the myriad of other options that are out there and how they've worked for you. Let me know in the comments. And as long as you're in the comments section, please make sure to like this video if you found this helpful and that you are subscribed to Mackie Tech so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Another way to support me is you can check out my Patreon page where I am offering technical support, or you can check out my cheesy merchandise uh, for shirts like this one or for coffee mugs. Both of the links I will leave in the video description. And make sure to check out these other videos where I did a complete install of Linux from a USB drive if you're interested. That's it for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and we will be talking to you again very soon.